Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my month update on my dreadlocks. So I've had them for a month now, just over. So I've got a few pointers to go through about what it's been like getting my dreadlocks. Um, dreadlocks. <laughs> what? Um, sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> What has been like getting my sorry? What has been like getting my dreadlocks done? That's actually made me cry. <laughs> oh god, sorry. What has been like getting my dreadlocks done? People's reactions, loops and curls are forming in them, all that sort of stuff. So if you want to hear about what it's like, <laughs> if you would like to hear what it's been like having my dreadlocks done for a month, then please stay tuned. I'm sorry, I, I, my eyes having a full-blown waterfall sesh right now. Okay, so the first two weeks of me having dreadlocks, my hair was quite stiff. It kind of sat out slightly. So at the moment, you can see it's quite flat and it's kind of like fallen quite well. But when you first get them done, it's a bit more... It's not like this, but it's a bit more out. You know, it kind of comes out like this. And it's fine. I, I still really enjoyed that time of it being like that. But you will feel the stiffness in the hair. So after a few times of you washing it, that will kind of go. So if you want the stiffness to go quicker, then just wash your hair. And it will probably kind of soften down a lot more. My hair at the moment now is quite really soft. Like as you can see, it's quite floppy. But when I first got them done, they were a bit more like that. So they would just kind of like stick out more. Whereas now they are floppy. They kind of bend in all sorts of places. The only thing that is a bit more stiff is the dreadlock extensions I've got at the ends of my hair, but they are starting to soften up a lot more now, which is nice. They will be quite stiff at first, but just persevere. That will eventually go. So the next point that I wanted to make was how I sleep with my hair. So sometimes I sleep with my hair fully tied up in a bun. It's just a really, really loose bun because when you're sleeping with your hair, if it's this long and it's down, it kind of itches and gets in your face and gets tangled around your bleeding neck so it's much easier to just tie it up in a bun um, I'm sure there's a few videos on YouTube on other ways of wearing caps or whatever or I do half up half down and put the half up in a bun because when the hair's down half a head it's actually not that bad to sleep with but it's the full bit like this bit is so in my face so if I'm trying to sleep it would just be like this and it would kind of get annoying so the sleeping part i didn't find it uncomfortable either a lot of people say that they find it really uncomfortable to sleep with dreadlocks but i haven't found it uncomfortable i've actually found it comfy and do you know what's really cool about it you can just roll this up <laughs> if you were somewhere and just sleep on that like a pillow i mean it's, it's two in one really every cloud every cloud i find them really comfortable to sleep in but other people might not you might not you might find them uncomfortable but it's just down to preference i guess i don't know mine's been fine lucky me okay so the next point that i wanted to make was talking about fallout of hair so sometimes you get these little straggly bits you can probably see them just at the end of my hair here they kind of stick out it happens to quite a few people at the moment mine aren't so bad that like, i've got a bit of fluff which i don't actually mind but some people can get quite a lot of fallout and it just cut, sticks out but i do truly believe that the reason mine isn't so messy i guess is because i took really good care of my hair before i got the dreadlocks done so i didn't have a lot of breakage my hair was one length and it was really long i looked after it i brushed it from the root up instead of just brushing through it and like pulling out the knots and stuff so i do think that helps if you do find that you get a lot of fallout like little bits here then just do a bit of root maintenance like twist the hair around to so get the, the fallout of hair and just kind of put that in your fingers like this like that and just rub at the root that sometimes helps or i use this dolly locks refreshing spray I'm not sponsored by these by the way i just really like it and when i'm doing maintenance i will spray this all over my hair and then i'll use my hands and palm roll like this and it helps to keep them tidy but you don't even need this to do that i do palm roll most days and palm rolling just in general keeps them quite tidy and just making sure as well that you're splitting them at the root so you know where you've got the sectioning it's best to make sure that they're all pulled apart because if you don't pull them apart at the sections they will eventually grow out together so you'll have to really rip it the next time you do it so it might be worth just making sure that you keep pulling them apart making sure that they're not stuck together at the root and just kind of maybe running your finger through that line and just pulling whatever's there i've had to do it a few times so that's probably the best thing to do if you do get fallout hair especially in the first month i would suggest to do it even the first three months i would imagine which is probably what i'm going to keep doing as well so the maintenance kind of comes along with the fallout hair as well so i think in the first week or two i was palm rolling nearly every single day and it can get really tiring on the arms but eventually you get used to it but 
it, it does get tiring. Okay, so I washed, I've washed my hair once a week. The first time I got my dreads done, I think I didn't wash it for two weeks. And then I washed it again the week after that. And then again the week after that. So I think once a week's good, but it's completely down to your own personal preference. You can leave your hair up to three weeks, up to a month, whatever. But you can wash your hair as regular as you used to wash it. The more you wash your hair, the quicker your hair is going to shrink because dreadlocks do shrink. So if you want your dreadlocks to shrink and go really, really loopy, then you will get that more if you wash your hair every other day or so on. Like I said, I've only been washing mine once a week because for me, that is enough. I could actually leave it for two weeks sometimes. To me, it doesn't really matter, but I keep my hair quite fresh with this re refreshing spray. It smells really nice. So when I'm not washing, I'll spray this all over my head and just kind of run my hands through like this. And I've had compliments on that actually. People saying that my hair smells nice. And the shampoo that I use is Dolly Locks Nag Champa. This, I'm telling you, is the nicest smelling shampoo bar I've ever had. When I wash my hair with this, my parents are always like, that smells so good. That smells so good. I like literally smell up the whole house with, with this just from washing my hair. So this is what the shampoo bar looks like. And it smells amazing. Oh my God, it's so good. I wish you could smell it, but yeah, anyway, Dolly Locks is quite a good brand. They, their stuff, from what I've had so far, is really amazing. Kind of pricey, I think, both of these. So this cost me like $19.99 and so did that. But um, for me, totally worth it. Totally worth it. So yeah, like I said about washing your hair, the more you wash it, the quicker it shrinks. And as it shrinks, it gets loops in it. I have got a few loops. I've started seeing more in my hair recently. I don't really mind them, to be honest, but I will want my dreads to have more of a neater look. A little loop here and there doesn't really bother me. And I will pull some out now so you can see what it looks like. So my hair's probably been dreadlocked for about four weeks now. Let me just pull a few out and you'll see what happens within four weeks. This is one here. You can see that loop up the top there. And this bit up here has started to bend. And I think that's where it's starting to shrink. There's another one just there. This is the loop here. It's a slightly strange shape. So this is one here. You can't really see it as well but can you see there's a few loops down here and then this one so i've had other fallout as well which has been this hair here i don't mind that though i actually quite like this hair that's come out the sides here it doesn't make your hair look so thin because sometimes when you look at dread from here you can see my scalp so i don't actually mind that bit of hair so if you go and check out my last video that I did previously about me getting the dreadlocks done, you'll kind of see a slight change in how they look then to how they look now. Now it's just a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more loopy, and obviously then they look a lot more straight and tidy, whereas now they're a little bit more fluffy and not. But I don't mind that. I like it. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the changes that dreadlocks take. Every single person who gets dreads will know that they are going to look completely different a year later after getting them first done. So I'm happy to see them change and see the fun little loops that they're doing i think it's quite cool that dreads even do that so now i want to talk about people's reactions to me getting dreadlocks done so i would say about 95 percent of people's reactions to me having dreads done have been positive and about five percent have been slightly negative so there's two points i want to make with this the negative points have been where they stereotype you in some way or they say oh you looked better with your hair before which is kind of a I mean, I, I, it's a compliment, but it's also not at the same time because it's like, well, it's too late for that now, mate. <laughs> My hair is like this now, so like it or lump it basically so yeah getting stereotyped you know telling it people telling you that your hair looked better before saying oh i'm gonna have to get used to this i'm really gonna have to get used to this or people saying oh i've got used to it now and it's like why would you have to get used to me having a hairstyle you know and the thing is right i, I seem like aggie saying that but you have to stay as positive as possible through these five percentage of these negative comments you know you've just got to take it and act like you don't care and obviously deep down you're kind of like mm, you know i wouldn't talk about your hair like that i wouldn't say to you if you had your hair cut really short oh, i'm gonna have to get used to that or oh your hair looked much better before because that would really hurt someone's feelings so i wouldn't want to hurt someone's feelings and do that so people tend to hurt your feelings a bit more when you have dreadlocks because obviously like they stereotype you to a certain person like people think that i'm dirty because i have dreadlocks which i'm not as you can see my room it's pretty fucking spotless, I think. It's pretty clean and I like to keep it clean. I like taking care of myself and keeping myself clean. So you will get stereotyped for that. People will think that you do drugs. I remember I made some chocolate orange brownies and the amount of people I gave a chocolate brownie to, which is a nice thing to do, I made them, they're lovely. And they'd be like, oh, is there anything in this? What, do you think I'm gonna put weed in my brownies? No, no. 
oh anyway they just stereotype you to a certain person basically so all the positive reactions have been amazing they've been so nice like when people say oh you know what I, you really suit them it's such a nice feeling i've had people random people from shops you know say oh i really like your hair it's really beautiful and i'm like thank you so much it's so so kind of people to come up and actually say your hair's very beautiful or you look really nice your hair's lovely you know it's it's just so nice because i didn't get that before you know my hair has attracted a lot more people purely because seeing a young girl like me with dreadlocks which you don't often see around these areas it's you know it's going to catch people's eyes and people are going to stare you will get stared at a lot more than you'll be used to you kind of have to get used to that and that's for me i don't mind that it's probably gave me a bit more confidence because you've got more eyes on you so you have to be confident you can't be shy and timid if more people are staring at you but yeah like i said you will have to develop slightly thick skin when you've got dreadlocks just because people will target you a lot more you will get a lot more questions and actually i want to make a point with that question wise people like to ask a lot of questions and you will get the same questions and you kind of just got to bite your tongue and keep replying and answering them people are just intrigued some people are intrigued and some people actually want them done, so they will ask you. But most of the time, people are just generally intrigued. The most question I get asked, do you wash your hair? But you're not meant to wash your hair, are you? And it's that same every... It happens every single time. It will get kind of annoying. It's kind of mundane after a while when you have to keep answering the same questions. It kind of gets to the point where you're like, yes, no, maybe, whatever. But... <laughs> and then you've just got to get used to that. So just answer it politely. Don't be rude. There's no need to be rude. If someone's being rude to you about your hair as well, don't be rude back. There's no point. Don't stoop to their level. Like I said, I had 5% negative, 95% positive, and the positive completely outweighs negative. So some some days, like I've had about two days where I felt a little bit like, oh, I don't feel very ladylike or whatever. And you've just got to think about why you got them done in the first place. And Look back on photos of you when you first got them done. Think back to about, about how happy you were when you first got them done. Ecstatic. I could not stop smiling and I still can't stop smiling. I love my hair. I actually think this, my hair's beautiful. I love it. Positive totally outweighs the negative and when people are positive towards them, it makes you feel so good. And you'll be surprised who likes them more as well. Like, you'll be really shocked. <clears throat> sorry you'll be so shocked about who likes them to who doesn't like them i think but yeah i get called rasta ernie from shark tail at work <laughs> yeah there's quite a few funny nicknames i've been called since having these which has been fine uh, when you meet new people i found that this was one thing that i kind of struggled with a little bit i met some new people and they don't know who i am they don't know they've never met me before but they stereotyped me a little bit and I don't think they were doing it to be mean I just don't know whether they understood that it was kind of hurtful a little bit because I am well into crystals I'm well into spiritualism I'm vegan and I was a vegan before I had my hair done I was all these things before I had my hair done and because they'd never met me before I tried to keep a secret that I was vegan because I didn't want people to know and go oh you know of course you are because of your hair so I tried to keep it from them and obviously it didn't really work but there's just a few comments that was made to me in this short time because of my hair and it just i don't know it can kind of get a little bit upsetting when it's just so much in one go but you've just got to ride through it just know that they don't know you they don't know you for you and know that you were this person before you had dreads and maybe make that point and i did make that point i was like do you know what it got to the point where i was like do you know what i was all of this before i even had my hair done but if I, my hair wasn't dreaded i wouldn't get this much shit from anybody so yeah you do kind of get a bit of shit but be fucking strong be strong about it don't stoop to the level show them what you've got show them that you're a great person because you obviously are and yeah basically fuck them <laughs> i shouldn't swear i need to stop swearing i'm really sorry i would like to make my last point about the reason why i got dreadlocks done the reason i chose to do this was because i am going traveling in november and my hair before which was long straight which you would have seen in my previous videos was hard work it really was it used to not upload it, i would be sat at work at a desk and it would not up just sitting at a desk i would be working obviously but my hair's not my head's only moving like this this and this so it was just coming to a point at the length where i was like this is actually hard work and i was having to brush it like six to seven times a day which was a bit of a pain every time i went on a night out next day it'd be like a nest and i knew that having these would make my life so much easier whilst i travel so i wanted to get them done a couple of months before so i got used to them which i'm totally glad i did and i really believe that this is going to make my life so much easier than my previous hair people were like i oh, would just braid it put two braids in here and here or just tie it in a tight bun but i didn't like how my hair looked like that because i felt a bit like a little boy <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like bold on my head. So yeah, I I just, I just didn't 
I just didn't like it like that. And I like this volume. I like how I can put it in a style. I don't have to take a bobble with me. I am going to take a brush with me. But the only reason I want to take this is because I want to keep my ends like this. So I can brush them out. And I don't mind. It's got a mirror on it. So it kind of can count as like my makeup. Makeup? I'm not even going to take makeup with me. What am I on about? It will just help me look at myself when I want to. <laughs> so yeah yeah i just won't i won't have to worry i just won't have to worry it's so much easier oh my god anyway i'm gonna leave it at that because i've rambled on enough i hope that this has helped you in some kind of way i hope this has helped you decide whether you want dreads or not and i hope you like my dreadlocks i really like them my sister created them for me she's amazing if you check out my last video if you want to watch me going to get my dreads done and you haven't seen it already then please head over to my channel or wait until the end of this video and it'll be linked up and you can go and watch that and keep following me on my dreadlock journey because i'm going to carry on doing a few more videos about this obviously i'll be traveling so i can probably tell you what it's like to travel with dreadlocks because i've tried looking for that online and i just can't seem to find something that gives me enough information all these new things are coming thank you so so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are in this beautiful amazing fantastic world hopefully you've learned something new from it today i'm not going to say hope anymore because i've said it enough thank you so much for your support give me a like and subscribe everything's linked below and have a wonderful day peace out bye hello all welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having oh, fuck's sake hello all welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having that i can't fucking talk today oh my god i'm actually getting wet or not okay this has been a minute and 30 seconds now this is not good okay let's stop it